Hey guys, Father and Son RC here, and Son is not here because this is for his Christmas present. And um, I'm going to show you how to wire Traxxas connectors onto a battery pack. In this case, it's a 2S LiPo 2200 milliamp hour pack um, designed to fit the small, you know, these small little ones, designed to fit in a 1 16th scale Traxxas vehicle. And so I'm going to show you how to do that real fast. Okay, they come, this particular battery, these G-Force batteries come from valuehobby.com and recommend them great value. I use their larger 2S LiPos, 7600 milliamp hour LiPos in my full-size tracks of Summit and they work extremely well. They actually, I mean, they're rated at 7600 milliamps but when I charge them, they take, um, I've seen them take over 8,000 million. So they're actually um, really good value for the money, really inexpensive. You should check it out if you're looking for something like this. These particular ones were $12.50 each. So I have two of them. Um, I'm just going to show you one of them. But um, we'll start by opening this package, Traxxas package. Get them out. This is a basically this is enough to do two batteries. Um, you got the receptacles and then the little these little plates for two batteries. I'm just going to show you one because it's the same for both, obviously, and show you how that's done. So I use this little helping hand deal right here uh, because it is the greatest thing for soldering. Makes it so easy to do. And we'll start by quickly tinning, just getting a little bit of solder. You don't need a ton. You just need enough, enough so there's a little bead on, on top of the thing here. I actually like to load it up on the thing and then just dab it on top. That's enough. As you probably know with Tractus, if you read the instructions, you don't want um, to get any solder over the line. There's a little line on them. You don't want to get any solder over there because it just makes it really hard to get it in here. If you do, it's not the end of the world. If you if you get it over there and you have a file, I've done that as well, where instead of trying to mess with it and fiddle with it and try to you know, get it back, just go ahead and do it, finish your project, and then take that metal file and just file it back a little bit. I've done that and it works fine. So it's not the end of the world if you do happen to do that. Um, so now I'm going to do the battery pack. Note of caution, you do not want to clip both wires at the same time. You want to just do one at a time. And, um, you know, for obvious reasons, you're going to get all kinds of sparking and stuff if you do that. So just do one at a time. And I'm going to start here with the negative lead. Go ahead and cut that. Pull the old heat shrink tubing off. One of the advantages, there's a you know a debate about whether to use Dean style or Traxxas. One of the advantages I find with Traxxas connectors is you don't have to use heat shrink tubing, uh, which is really nice, and they work really well. So I'm going to go ahead and use my wire strip for the strip there. You don't need a ton. You basically just need all that will allow it to sit on there. Um, and then shove it in. If you strip too much out, then you're going to have wire sticking out of the back of the connector, um, which you don't want. You want it to be sort of insulated all the way into it. Um, so you don't want any exposed wire like that. So you want to do about that much, a little less than a quarter of an inch, um, I would say, just enough so that it uh, gives you what you need. Okay, so now I'm going to clip it into my helping hands. A oh, quick note about these helping hands. These are, um, I got this from Amazon for, I think it was literally $6, and it's maybe the greatest $6 I've ever spent in my life. That's probably an overstatement, but they're pretty great. Um, and so I'm going to tin this really fast with a solder, get it heated up, and I just want to get a little bit on there. I'm going to do it on the top. You're technically supposed to heat it from the bottom and let it flow through, but I find it actually does not, doesn't matter all that much. All you soldering experts are going, what? Blasphemy. But nevertheless, it works. Okay, so I've got it tinned, which just makes it easier, frankly, when you 
put it together. Okay, and then use my helping hands here, put it together. Careful with the soldering iron because you don't want to burn yourself or burn your wife's countertop in the kitchen. That's really bad, which is what I'm doing now. Uh, I'm trying not to burn it, but nevertheless, got enough on both. I probably don't need any additional solder. And I'm just going to make sure that it's kind of flowed through on both sides here. Got a good joint. Put a little more on top. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and let that one cool for just a second and then I'll clip it. And then I'm going to insert it into the Traxxas connector. Now, you want to make sure that you put the negative with the negative. Obviously, black's negative, red positive with the right things. If you don't, you can unclip these. It's just not easy. So. Um, better to get it right the first time. Um, make sure that's cool enough. It is. So I'm going to go ahead and shove it in until it clips into place, which it did. That's the first one. Um, the second one is exactly the same. Then I'm going to shove it in the other side until it clips. If you don't feel it quite clip, which I didn't that time, um, you can grab a screwdriver and use the screwdriver just to, just that bottom part, there's the blade right there. Just put the screwdriver right on that blade, flathead screwdriver, and shove it in. There it clips, so we're done. Traxxas connector installed on the battery. Now I'm ready to charge it up. And that's all there is to it. Simple. Thanks for watching.